first of all, I just wanted to say thank you for doing this, Aries. Like, you're the most, one of the most reachable people uh, we can actually talk to out here. So thank you for that, too. It's all love, baby. Man, you talk just like T. <laughs> okay, <let's> just, <laughs> just, <laughs> hey, man, my, my man, you was raised in New York, but you were born in Chicago. Uh, <clears throat> technically, yes, I'm from Chicago, but I left when I was an infant. So my whole upbringing came up in New York. Uh, and, you know, home is where you lay your hat. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but it's like Michael Jordan claims North Carolina. Right. But he's from Brooklyn. He's from New York. Tupac claims West Coast, or claimed West Coast, but he was actually from New York. Again, born in Brooklyn. I mean, like, that number one, I didn't know Jordan is from Brooklyn. You just do some uh, stats for me right here to, to proceed with, but the two-pop one is perfect. Now, you coming from New York, I was going to ask you some Chicago questions, but you did that, and I really wanted more of New York questions. I got family in New York. I lived for, like, a year and a half in Flatbush, but I really don't know New York. What was New York for, like, Aries when he was, like, a younger guy, probably around, like, the teenage years and younger? Well, you know, <clears throat> back then, you know, I'm an 80s baby. You know, I was born in 75. Okay. So, you know, I grew up in New York and New Jersey in the 80s. And, you know, back then, that's when New York was in its purest form, you know, from the 70s up until they made it corporate with all the Disney shit and made it safe for, you know, kids to walk in, in, in Times Square. Right. Back when I was coming up, you know, you went to Times Square, you got the dudes on the corner playing the, on, on the streets, playing the three-card Monty, scamming niggas out their money. Uh, you had the porno houses, which would have the TVs outside the theaters showing clips of the pornos. So New York was real gangster back then. Now it's real corporate. I mean, I'm not going to say gentrification, but I am going to say as far as the era and the aura, you're absolutely correct. I mean, speaking of that era, man, you said the 80s, man. That's like that golden era or whatever as far as growing up. So can I just get a, a, a soundbite from Aries as far as your era during that time, 80s and 90s? Who were some of your favorite uh, artists during that time, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I mean, musically, I was probably too young to really appreciate what I appreciated in my 20s because, you know, that was my time. But, you know, we, of course, we had all the legendary artists from the 80s bleeding into the 90s and the early 2000s. Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Prince. Um, you know, I, as far as cartoons go, you know, I think that was a time when, you know, boys was allowed to be boys. You know, we had our own shit. G.I. Joe, Silverhawk, Joe, Bionic man. 6. You know, Go Box, Transformers, He Man, oh, Voltron. Man. Whereas now, a lot of these cartoons are metrosexual. They're for boys and girls. And they don't feel like they have an edge where it's like just for boys. So I think I just came up in the in the perfect time. The golden era, man. You talking about G.I. Joe, man. You said the Transformer tours, like you you like cause I'm an eighties baby too, but I'm just kind of younger than you. I'm 36, but, man, you, you have me reminiscing. Oh, okay, I could, I could picture young Aries. And what was it like for 14-year-old Aries knowing he was going to do comedy and be great in comedy? Because you referenced that once upon a time ago. Like, you just knew it around that age. What made you even know it? Like, give me some feedback from that. Well, I, before comedy, I, I kind of felt like I always knew I wanted to be famous. And I wanted to do something in the, uh, something that would, you know, make me famous. I thought I was going to be a boxer until I found out, you know, you have to be disciplined and not eat bacon. <laughs> and you have to work out all the time. Uh, and then I thought I was going to be a rapper until I realized I really don't have the talent for that. That's why I respect rap and hip-hop so much. Because, again, coming up in that golden era of the 90s where rap was at its best and it, and it, and it was focused on individualism and actual writing skills, and creativity, and lyrics, I knew I just didn't have that in me. Um, so, you know, I started doing stand-up at 14 because Eddie Murphy was my guy.